Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been raising chicks for nine years and I thought I would share what chick starter supplies you may need because it is very important to get ahead of the game and prepare and buy all the stuff for your new baby fluffy chicks. I am going to show you all the things I wrote down and just go through and I, this is my third run of chicks. My little chicks are now six weeks old, almost six and a half weeks old. And I just thought I, if any of you guys want to raise chickens, this will be a good starter list. And these work for me. You may have a different house layout or a different arrangement for your chickens or your chicks. So just know that it just depends on how you raise them and your environment you're raising them in. So thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna get started. So I right now am using a rabbit cage because it's a good beginning size to use first. Because they're just so tiny they both used to fit in the palm of my hand. So you can easily buy a cage for $50 and they will stay in that cage for six weeks. So that's a really good option. And I'll be using that cage after they outgrow it with my rabbit. So I just thought it would be a good investment to just get the same cage. It's like a wire cage with a plastic tub and it's easy to clean, it's easy to sanitize. So I thought that might work just as fine and it is. You must, must, must have a heat lamp because they need heat to survive when they're six weeks old and under. So we need a heat lamp and the bulb. The bulb can be white or red. So I had both and I personally like the white light better because it brightens up the cage and the red is just like kind of like a red glowy thing in the cage but the white is the best and it becomes hotter than the red ones and you need to make sure that it's near our outlet so just make sure when you're raising chickens that you need an outlet because you need a heat lamp you need bedding for lots of things so bedding can be for cleanup so when they are in the cage or like any cage you need bedding and you need bedding when they grow up too and it's extra insulation so it keeps them warmer than just like nothing but doggy pads so i use doggy pads and bedding until they're like a month old i think because i just wanted them to be more protective and just for them to like become more warm than just the bedding and I love using both. And now I'm just using the bedding. The bedding can be, it's like, I buy humongous bags of bedding and I buy them um, a lot because that's like the number one thing I buy most of, of my animal supplies. And then you need food and water dishes. There's lots of little chick supplies. So there's different designs of the feeders and the watering systems. I just do the round um, with each slot and then it's like a mason jar and you screw it on and it just like kind of comes down when they eat. I like that system a lot and the water too so they won't be able to spill it as easy because of the weight of the mason jars and I like that better because it's not like an open dog dish and they can just like tip it over. It's protected close by. The next thing is a scooper for your bedding. So you definitely need a scooper and that will give all the extra like sticky stuff on the bottom of the cage. You definitely need a scooper if you don't want to like touch it with your hands or when you wear gloves. And then a temperature gauge. So if you're like new and you don't know like the exact temperature, I feel like it will come in handy if you buy like a temperature gauge and it's only like $5 or like if you have one, you can just use that. But 
it needs to be on the sur surface of the cage. So you know how hot the chickens are and they need heat. So you need to make sure that you can feel the heat under the heat lamp with your hand like this. And then for them to get warm, you just need to have it. But now I'm just guessing because I've just been raising it up each week. But if they're really concerned about the temperature, you can always check and double check it by getting a temperature gauge. And then the next item is chicken grit. And it helps move food and for them to digest it well. I really don't know why, but I just think it helps their system or like for calcium. And the person at the farm store suggested I buy it and it's the first time I ever gotten chick grit, but I think it helps them become healthier than if they don't have until they're like six months old. And then chick food. I got two big bags of chick food. So each bag is 10 pounds. I got 20 pounds of chick food and it will last 10 weeks. And of course they spill it and waste some. So of course it's not exactly 10 pounds a bag. It's like maybe nine pounds. So they definitely spill their food dish. So I know they don't eat that much because I know they dump it sometimes. So I just buy two because it's better to have them be on chick food more than not enough time for their de development. So I've been just doing that and I'm almost done with the second bag. I'm halfway through and I they're six weeks old so maybe two or three more weeks and then I'll switch them to the starter food and then the adult food. The next thing is a chick box when they grow out of the cage. I have a refrigerator refrigerator box in the garage and it's a big 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 deep refrigerator box I shared it with you guys in my last update and I love that box I used mesh and sticky velcro tape and it is working out well I haven't placed them in yet but just get a cheap box or free box and spend like $15 for like the top so they won't escape they're not tiny, so they won't escape yet, but if they try and fly and bump the mesh, just try and make it secure because they will fly out and be all over your house or your garage if you place them with no top layer. Okay, and that's usually between their six and eight weeks old. I am transitioning them when they're six and a half weeks old so this weekend so yeah just so that's like a timeline and they'll be living in the garage and make sure that the um chickens have enough room so they're outgrowing the cage so you need to get a box and the refrigerator box is really big it takes up a lot of space in my garage so it is wide and big so they will get a lot of space and I only have two chicks right now so they will for sure be fine with all the extra room to run around and they will be getting some exercise in the backyard too um, when I feel like it and when it's nice out okay and you do not need a heat lamp when you transfer them because they will already have all the feathers in or like the beginning feathers down, fluffy feathers. So you don't need a heat lamp until they move out of the cage. And you, they need heat to survive. So um, the farm store suggested starting the temp temperature gauge at 95 degrees and each week you decrease the temperature and that's like five degrees or six degrees each week and then they'll get used to growing up you need to raise the heat lamp because they're growing so each time they grow a week like this you need to raise it then grow raise it and then, then you'll be fine after you just guess and if you don't have a temperature gauge I did was I monitored them so if they were 
near the heat lamp, then they still need the heat lamp. And if they were like moving away from the heat lamp and was like, it's too hot, then you can raise it because you know that they were trying to be away from the heat lamp. Okay, and then for all like the yucky stuff, you need a compost bin for all the bedding and all the debris that they go through. You need a compost bin. And if you have a compost thing in your garden, then that's terrific. But I don't, and it's so stinky if you do. So my option is just using a compost bin. And then every week, the garbage people just pick it up. And that is working out well. And then the optional, um, optional ones, like optional um, supplies are puppy pads. So if they run around the house, you need puppy pads to clean up their messes or for them to stay in a spot. This is such a good thing because right now my chicks are in a napping mood all the time. So when I do homework, they just stay in their pad. Uh, my rooster stays on the pad and my little pumpkin girl is kind of still not friendly, not socialized, even though I have been. She is definitely a runner, but Molly likes to stay and nap next to me. And then I said gloves to clean up. So that is very important. If you don't want your hands to be like messy, just use wipes and towels and have gloves on you if you don't want to like be like concerned about like messes on your hands. And then I told you already about the temperature temperature gauge and uh, exercise pin too. So if you want them in the garden and you want them to be safe and you'll be close by them, just buy like a $40 exercise pin. My rabbit is staying in the exercise pin and that is working out well. It's lasting a long time. It's metal and it's like, it has little clips on each like thing. So there's like four clips. So it is lasting out well. So I haven't done it, but I know my rabbit lives in the exercise pen and he gets to have free range of the backyard sometimes. But just make sure if you want them to be out and about and you don't have to like chase them, just buy an exercise pen. So that is my chick starter kit. I hope you like this video. It is very informative. And I hope that some people out there who are thinking of raising chickens find this helpful because I knew very little when I got my chicks nine years ago and this is my third batch of raising them. And I definitely learn as I grow up with them too. So it's just like what fits in your schedule and your like environment, you're growing up with them and it's just stuff you have. And there's so many things that they have at the farm store. You can ask questions or you can look things online. So just be aware that if you have questions, just go and Google like I do sometimes. And then when the chicks are five months old or six months old, buy a fake egg. So the chickens will know to lay an egg in the little hen boxes. And that is what I've done. I have three chick boxes and they will definitely pick up on the skill because it's their instinct. And if they see an egg, they will lay an egg in that box. So that's the, the last tip of the video. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.